Hi, Leslie. Hi. Thank you so much for talking to me today and uh, coming to Toronto. I know you live in Montreal. Yes, I do. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about uh, yourself and uh, why do you want to do this interview? I think that it's really important for people who live with pain mm -hmm. to see that it's possible to live successfully with pain, e even though you haven't always lived successfully. Oh wow, yeah, I, I talk about this all the time. I say that it is possible, even if you have chronic pain, some people don't believe that they can have a good quality of life mm -hmm. and live successfully. So you are doing this? Yes, I am. For how long? I think it's been 10 years now. I think I had 10 years of living horribly with pain. Uh. Um, it affected my whole life. Oh, wow. uh, it took away my career as, oh. as a physiotherapist. Oh. Um, and it took a away a lot of my social, it, it took away all parts of my life really? until yeah. the point where I was rock bottom. Uh -huh. And now I can say I've turned things around and, and so I'm happy. So you're going to tell us. Uh, yes. so so, just so if I understand, you were 10 years suffering from pain, going down, reaching rock bottom, and now it has been 10 years yes. that you'd say that your life changed. Yes. Great. So, I want to know what happened 10 years ago that made such a big difference in your life? What was the biggest factor that changed your life, made this, you know, rock bottom, and now you are so active, and mm -hmm. you are here at the conference mm -hmm. and giving talks? and teaching other people. So what was that made that big difference? I think um, for me, I was on a lot of opioids. Oh, wow. I was on a lot of medication. And, and I think um, the conversation about where do you see yourself? Do mm -hmm. you see yourself staying down here? Where, where else can you go? You're yeah. at rock bottom. Yeah. And um, starting to reevaluate what, what are your what are your dreams? What are your what are your beliefs? Wow. So you, you were thinking at that point, I just met you recently, so I don't know how you were at that time, but were you saying that uh, you were thinking about your future? You were at that point, you say, what am I going to look like uh, in the future? Yes, what am I going to look like in the future? And for me, it was a crossroads. Yeah. It was really, is life worth living? Oh, wow. Or or am I ready to take that plunge and, and just try to, to find the help that I need to make life successful? Oh, that's great. And just one day at a time kind of find what I love to do. I, I couldn't do what I did before. So I can imagine, it was not like a sudden... No. Like a change, like one no. day to another one, no. your life just changed. How long did it take for this change in course <coughs> to happen? I don't really know. It was so gradual. I think I think that I, I was offered the chance to to talk, uh, to speak about my life with mm -hmm. chronic pain mm -hmm. and to get involved with research. And I thought, well, maybe I can help other people. Oh, wow. And then I think when when I started to help other people, I thought this is fulfilling. Uh -huh. This is yeah. this is good. And I I had the help of of. Uh, a doctor yeah, and and, yeah. and a psychologist okay, that, to yeah. to um, run things by yeah. to you know and and I'm a person who reflects a lot uh, and so yeah. each time you take a step you reflect on where you were where yeah. you are yeah. and and for sure you have a little bit of dips down yeah. again yeah. Yeah. Um, it's not just a, a road like yeah. this it's kind of a road yeah. like this yeah. 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 but it, as long as you see yourself. I don't know. For me, the first day I smiled. I remember. Uh, you really? I yeah. do. I remember that I thought, I wonder if anybody sees me smile yeah. because I shouldn't be smiling if I live with pain. Oh, wow. wow. And so I think then you do smile and you realize it, it, didn't, it didn't hurt anybody. Uh -huh. It didn't hurt you. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think that's just a small step, but a big step. Of course. And of course. so I think it's the little things like that. So I'm so curious to know, I think everybody wants to know, what were the things that you did? Like you said, you were on a lot of opioids? Yes, I was. More than one opioid? Three. Three opioids? Three opioids, long term. For how many years? Ten. ten I was years. on ten years. Okay, ten years, three opioids, high dose, low dose? High dose, very high, high dose. Okay, high dose. That's what made me stop being a physio because I started falling asleep driving my car. Oh. And then I took... Um, 
uh, Ritalin. Oh, so to that wake I could, up. Yes, so that I could so wake up. So you were physiotherapist, active, but couldn't work. C couldn't work because I, I, I was too drowsy. Yeah, I wasn't course. able to concentrate. Yeah. Uh, yes, it was too dangerous. dangerous. And, and also, I mean, I, I had a lot of pain in my face and people would say, you know, what is that uh, sharp pain in uh, your face? Uh, and and, and if, if it takes away from their story, it's yeah, kind of yeah. like you're not in a place to... So you had to stop working, you were taking many opioids, mm -hmm. not functioning well, mm -hmm. not hopeful for the future. Mm -hmm. um, and then what were the things, the, the ingredients that helped you most to overcome? And uh, So you stopped all the opioids now? I have now, yes. No, no opioids no, for none, 10 years? None, none. So it's possible. I tell people it's yes. possible to have chronic pain and you don't need opioids. So you are seeing an example yes. here. But what were the things that helped you most? I think the things that helped me most were talking to different people. Uh -huh. So talking to my psychologist, talking to my doctor at the pain clinic. Um, I didn't talk to my family much because okay. I didn't want to burden them. Okay. But you find a friend you talk to, you, um, I mean, for me, my psychologist was the one that I spoke to the most, yeah, yeah. the one that helped me at the time when I was rock bottom. I see, yeah. And so I used to run things by her and she was the one that said, why don't you get involved with the Canadian Pain Coalition? I, see, I think yes. it would be good for you. Which is a group of people with chronic pain Canada. Right, right. That they help each other. Right. They talk about how they find solutions. Right. That's so important, yes. That yes. was my first step, actually, um, now that I think of it. Yes. And getting involved there and, and um, I think, I don't say on the pretense of helping others, but you go there to help others, but in fact, you help You're yourself. You're being helped. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And so that was like, wow, I, I, I like this. And, and being a physiotherapist, I like to work yeah, with people. Yeah. I like, so it brought me back into the social slowly, okay, yes, slowly. Yeah. And how is your pain now? How actually, you know, um, these days, do you still I, have pain? I live with 24-7 pain, yeah. hemifacial pain. Um, I, I had a, a back surgery. Um, and so I live with uh, post-op okay. pain um, down the leg, okay. but um, it doesn't run my life. Okay. It's not the focus of my life. Um, I have so many other things that have come back into my life. Excellent. Yeah. And, and I think that that is what is so important. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Leslie. Anything else that you want to share with uh, our group? I do. I want to share that I'm I'm not a lot different than you are. Yeah. And so um, I, I think I often hear, but that's you, but that's, that can be anybody. I really believe that. Mm -hmm. um, it's finding the key and never stop looking for that. Okay. You know, like talk to different people. There'll be a spark somewhere. And, and what's important to you. Excellent. And it might not be what was important to you. Yeah. For, for one thing, I hear so many people say, but I want to be who I was. Mm. Nobody is ever who they mm. were, nobody. Mm. And so stop trying to be who you were and find out who you are now. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much for sharing this. I think it will help a lot of people. Thank you I so much. So. Yes. I hope so.